Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be installing the Simpure Whole House Water Purifying System. It's a two-stage system, DB 10C-2. Looks like what you see right here. In a minute, I'll open the box, show you what's included. What I'm going to do is test the water before this goes in, and then we're going to be testing my tap water after this is installed. Right here's what's in the box. You have the water filtration system, metal bracket, very sturdy, thick plastic housings, two of them, one for each stage. One is a sediment filter, and the one that's leaving after the sediment filter, going to your house fixtures, is going to be a carbon block. You also get the filter wrench, Teflon tape, anchors, a template for lining up these holes for drilling into your wall for mounting, and replacement seals for these bleed relief valves. Right here, when you go to open up the housing to replace the filters. On the filter housing on the inlet and the outlet is a brass one inch threaded insert that's going to prevent the housing from cracking when you tighten the fitting. Now one other thing, over here it says in and out. Now in my case, the city water supply is going to be coming in from the left. So what I'm going to do, unbolt all these screws, eight, take these two as one unit, flip it around, remount this plate, put the screws back in because the relief valves, the red, need to be going towards the inside where the city water pressure is. You don't want the city water pressure here and the relief on that side. It's always got to go here. So by flipping this around, changing this to in and that to out, you can use it left or right. Right over here is where my city water enters the house. You can see it's a three quarter inch PVC pipe. The usual size will be one inch or three quarter. You're going to see either copper or PVC. And if you have a much older home, you could see galvanized pipe. Hose bib before the shutoff. So what I'm going to do, if I didn't have an inside room where this goes to, is I would come straight up and that's where my connections would be made just above the city water going back into the house. It would be mounted outside on the wall. Now because this goes through the wall into a concrete utility room, I'm going to be mounting the two-stage filter on the opposite side. This is where the city water comes through the wall on the outside that I showed you, wraps around. That goes to another hose bib. So I do not want to put the filtration system there because I don't want my hose bib having filtered water. So I'm going to make a cut right after the T, and I'm going to make a cut right over here where it becomes half inch come straight up with a three-quarter line. It's going to tie into the filter. Over here, come straight up, tie into the filter system, which is going to be bolted into the concrete block wall. First thing I want to do is mount the filter system. See, I drilled two holes, one here, one there, using the template. This is a 5 32nd inch Tapcon carbide bit, Tapcon to the concrete block wall. I place a torpedo level on top before drilling the holes. The next step, I'm going to make a cut in the copper pipe down here on the right, and I'm going to make a cut in the three-quarter inch PVC pipe just to the right of the T. There's going to be an elbow bringing the water line up. There's going to be a shutoff valve before it goes into the inlet, and on the outlet, it's just going to go straight down and tie into the rest of the house. Right here, you can see the filter housing unscrewed, thick plastic, and not one O-ring seal, but two. Make sure the wrapper is off of the filter and the washer's in place when you put it back together. Do not over tighten. Tighten just enough to make sure everything is fully seated. With the city water turned off, the next thing I'm going to do is go inside the house, open up a faucet to relieve the pressure on the cold side. I'm going to be cutting the copper tubing, not with a mini tubing cutter because it won't fit between the concrete and the pipe. I'll be using this saw to make the cut and also use it for over here. Okay, this is the section I cut out. This end was sanded to remove any paint. I'm going to do the same to this fitting, make sure there's no burrs on the inside. The end of the copper tubing was cleaned with sandpaper and a wire brush 
to ensure there's no burrs that are going to break loose and get clogged up in your aerators. Over here, sanded, ready to go. I'm going to be putting a 90 degree elbow. It's going to go like this. That's going to be sweat on in a minute. And then I'm going to have another section of PVC that goes from here up to the street elbow on the filter. Connected into this brass insert is going to be a one inch street elbow. So it's a male thread here, one inch. This side is a one inch slip fitting. I have a reducer bushing down to three quarter. That's going to be threaded in. When you thread these fittings in, you wanna take the Teflon tape that was included with the kit. Hold this facing you and you're going to wrap clockwise, pulling the Teflon tape deep into the threads, do three or four wraps. In addition to the Teflon tape, I highly recommend on top of the threads, you rub some PTFE pipe thread sealant. Just put a thin film over that Teflon tape before you thread it in and tighten it securely. Using this and the Teflon tape will almost guarantee that you will not have any leaks. All right, that's pretty good. Make sure there's nothing hanging over the front. You're going to thread that in. You want to tight, but you don't want to over tighten it. Okay, so this is the section I just created for the output side of the filter system. You can see it's got the angle right here, and I flared the end just like they do at the factory. If you don't know how to do thermoforming, then at the end of this video, you're going to see video thumbnails that you can click on, and you'll learn exactly how this is done. I also have testing videos proving that this does not affect the integrity of the pipe, so be sure to check that video out as well. So let's separate this. I'm going to be using this cement. I also have a PVC cement testing video pressurizing different pipes using different brands of cement to see how well it holds under very high pressure. You can find a link to that video at the end of this video. Over here a little bit of purple primer mixed with cleaner. If the pipe is new you don't need cleaner. All you need is purple primer and the cement. If the pipe is older you want to use cleaner first followed by primer and then the cement. I was getting low on the purple primer so I added in some cleaner. Okay, now some all-purpose cement, let's put a little bit in here, give it a push and a twist. So for me, it needs to go Right there should be good. Okay, here it is. All the PVC work is complete. The shutoff valve on the input side and on the output side of the filter, you can see it goes down here. One more connection is to be made. I'm going to show you in a minute. I'll be sweating that elbow in position and we'll be finished. One other thing, if you wanted to, you could have a bypass set up for the system. In the event the system becomes really blocked and you want more water pressure, you would have over here, and I'm very limited on space, that's why I didn't do it. You would take another valve, come right over here on the inlet, go straight out to a T. This PVC pipe here would go to the bottom of the T. The top of the T would come up with an elbow over the top of this unit, and then you would have another ball valve. 
that ball valve would go over to here and down. There'd be another valve sticking out here, going this way with another T. The top of this pipe would go to the top of the T. The bottom of the T would connect to the line down here. In the event this becomes blocked, you close this valve, you close that valve, and then you open the one in the center. When the system is working properly, this valve is open, that valve is open, and this one is closed. Let's make sure there's no more water. If there is, it's going to be much harder to get the solder to flow. Make sure you have one valve open in the house or one fixture on the cold side. Feels pretty dry. Some paste flux, no corrode. Hopefully this doesn't pop off when I apply the heat. I'm going to apply the heat right over here at an angle. And when this starts smoking, that's when I'm going to take this and let it flow right in. That's good. And then you Okay, the city water is back on. This is pressurized up to here. I have the sink turned on in my utility room, the cold water. As soon as I turn this on, you're going to see the water flow into this housing and then this housing. Make sure these are tight, but do not over tighten. Excellent. Here we go. Now, been about 20 minutes, there are no leaks, everything is good, the water is still running in my bathroom sink, you don't hear it here, and the flow rate appears to be the same, even though the faucet does have a water saver. As time passes, and you put a lot of gallons of water through this carbon block, you're going to notice a reduction in the flow rate coming from your faucet. That's your indication that you're going to have to replace the filters. Okay, let's go outside, take a sample of the hose bib water, go inside and take a sample from the faucet. So right here is the water sample taken from outside, untreated. Now we're going to take a sample from the tap. First, let me just show you the pressure, it's excellent. I don't see any difference really in the pressure. We're going to take a sample, put it in this glass. Okay, so that's untreated and treated. Now the one thing to note is that even though the filter is removing a lot of things from the water, especially chlorine, there is going to be some stuff put back into the water as the water flows through the copper tubing underneath my concrete slab. So the levels aren't going to be zero, but they should definitely be lower than the untreated water. For the test, I'll be using the six-in-one tester I showed you in a previous video. This tester looks at COD, TOC, TDS, UV275, and EC. Go into the untreated water. That's coming out at 83 good. Now the treated water. Let's take a look. 90, excellent. So right here side by side, you have untreated COD 1.9, treated one, so almost half reduced. TOC 2.6, down to 1.4 with the treated. TDS 121, that's up to 132, and that's usually the case when it goes through different filters. 
Sometimes the carbon or the uh, carbon block, little microscopic pieces can flake off, which is not going to harm you, and that makes the number go higher. So that's what it did here. UV275.026. Almost half, 0 0.014, and the EC, 241, 263. So this is really expected to see it not be zeros, because like I said, I'm going through about probably 35 feet of copper tubing that's been under this slab for many decades. So you're going to have little particles flaking off. Over here, you can see if we took a reading closer to the filter, about 10 feet away. This is the readings we had. So COD was 0.97, 10 feet from the filter with copper. That dropped a little. 1.4 became 1.29. 132 became 130. 0.013, that dropped. And that even the EC dropped. So the closer you get to that filter housing, the lower these numbers are going to drop. Okay, so this is a swimming pool test strip right here. I'm going to do one in each one. I'm going to have to tilt the glass in order to do it. So I'll dip one, wait two seconds, pull it out, and then we'll do the other one. Let's go like this. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Take it out. Shake, shake. Let me lay that right here. And now we're going to do this one. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Take it out. Shake, shake. And that's the untreated. So now I'm going to take a look here in a minute and compare. Over here is your chlorine level. So you can see yellow, or very close to yellow, means zero. And that's my treated water. Yellow. Take a look over here. You can see it's green at the hose bib outside, up in this area right around here. So it does remove the chlorine from the city water. And that's it for this video. If you're looking to have greatly reduced levels of contaminants in your city water, as well as greatly reducing chlorine levels throughout your house, then one of these two-stage filter systems is for you. Thanks for watching.